I'm Jennifer Zarate with CRN TV, joined by Gina Narcissi, Senior Editor for Telecom and Networking for the Channel Company, to talk about how it's like reporting amid the coronavirus outbreak on this special of VARS Cooking at Home. Thank you for joining us, Gina. Yeah, thanks for having me at a safe 3,000 mile away distance. <laughs> well, glad to have you. What recipe will you be sharing with us today? So today I got a little bit creative with pasta. I know a lot of people are buying up pasta in bulk. Um, it's an easy thing to have in your pantry. So today I'm actually just using, um, I'm using some rigatoni and I'm using some things I had in my fridge to make a sauce, um, you know, kind of other than tomato sauce. So. We're using cabbage and sausage and cheese. What are the first few steps to getting this recipe started? So first we're going to cook our garlic, which I already diced up two cloves, and it's in the pan here, with some olive oil. Um, and then we're also going to add onions. I diced up about a quarter of um, an onion. So it's, it comes out to be about a half a cup. And so we're just gonna cook these until they're nice and translucent, so like three or four minutes. Um, and we can also season that with a little bit of salt and pepper as we go. The onions and garlic look pretty nice. I don't know if you could see that, but they're, it smells very nice here. If only I can smell it. You know what? I got a bit of the aroma here. <laughs> so we're going to now add the sausage. So I'm gonna do about half of this link. So the dish I'm making is gonna feed two hungry adults, I would say. But um, if you have a family, you could use the whole sausage. So I see you're getting the pasta ready. What comes next? So I had my boiling water going, which I already salted. Um, so I am using rigatoni here, but really any pasta goes that you might have in your cabinet. I also like cooking with um, chickpea pasta or lentil pasta if you have gluten-free family members or if you are yourself. Um, so I'm just adding Pasta to the water now. It's going to take about 12, 10, 12 minutes for this to cook. So we will time that. For someone who regularly works at home, how have things changed now that most people are also working from home in terms of conducting interviews? For example, are you finding yourself video chatting more now than before? Yeah, I would say um, it's been interesting because everyone now is finally in the same boat. Um, so before I would, you know, do some video calls throughout the week. Um, and you know, you obviously want to fix up a little bit when you're doing these video calls, um, look presentable. Um, but now everyone's just kind of trying to make do. Some people are using video for the first time in their homes. So, you know, not really judging anyone on backdrop or who's in the background. I've seen kids, I've seen pets. Um, but it's actually kind of nice because you, you almost walk away feeling a little bit closer to some people that you've probably only seen really dressed up at conferences or maybe even just talked to over the phone. So our sausage is done cooking. I took that out of the pan, just put it in a plate for now. And next our cabbage or Brussels sprouts, whatever you're using, is going in. Um, this doesn't go in for long. It's about three to four minutes. You just kind of want to wilt this. Cook it in some olive oil and salt and pepper. So as we talked about how you usually work from home, what are some tips that you can share with folks? Yes, so I would say um, I've been working from home full time now for about eight months, um, but I've always worked from home at least part of the week. And I think the most important thing is to get dressed when you wake up and you don't have to put on jeans. You don't have to put on anything you'd wear to work, but uh, it's good to just get out of the clothes you slept in. Um, so, you know, yoga pants, workout clothes, um, if you're going to maybe try to squeeze in a workout during the day at home, that's great. You just kind of, you've got to sort of go into it with a fresh mindset. You're working now. Um, I also like to make a pot of coffee in the morning, but that's just me. Um, and I think it's, it's kind of critical to set a start and an end time if you can. Obviously these times are a little bit unprecedented. So I think everyone's kind of working different hours to make it work with their household. But if you can kind of map out maybe each day, I'll sign on at X time and try to sign off for this time, just to give yourself a little bit of a routine. Before we wrap up, what are the last steps to this recipe? Okay, so I just drained the pasta. And the secret here is you keep the pasta water. 
Um, it's nice and starchy and it's gonna be the base of our sauce. So sauces don't have to be creamy. Um, seriously, whatever's on hand, this is a pretty cheap and easy to make sauce. So I just kind of separated it out over here. We're gonna add, just as we go, just um, we'll add juice as needed. So we got a little bit of pasta water in the pan. I put about a cup so far. I'm gonna add back our cabbage, which is nicely cooked. I'm gonna add our sausage back to the pan. And then in addition to the pasta water, we're going to add a dollop of, I'm doing Greek yogurt. You can do, again, whatever you have in the house. Sour cream will work, cream cheese will work. Um, if you have any kind of like soft cheese, that'll do the job. Just makes it a little bit creamy. And then you add Parmesan cheese. Again, whatever kind of Parmesan you have, store bought, if you have a block, you can grate it. Um, be liberal with this part. <laughs> and then again, you can season it with salt and pepper to your taste. You can also add red pepper flakes. That's great. Gives it a little bit of a, little bit of a, ups the flavor there for you. Well, stay safe. I can't wait to see what the finished product looks like. Absolutely. And thanks for joining me in my kitchen. I can't wait to see what the other bars are cooking up. Bye. Bye.